In this video, we'll install, configure, and demonstrate printing with email to print. We'll start by modifying our current Uniprint Infinity installation to add the email to print server on the bridge. Then we'll configure the email to print server by setting incoming and outgoing mail settings. Since this is only a demonstration, we're going to use Gmail settings and accounts for testing. So we won't be demonstrating how to create email accounts for printers on Gmail. But when configuring email to print, you would do this at this point in the process. Next, we'll enable email to print for each printer that has an email account. Then we'll go to an Android device and send two email messages. Email to print is not limited to Android devices. As long as you can send an email, email to print will work for any device, including Apple devices and Chromebooks. We'll send a print job to a gateway printer and another one to the Uniprint VPQ so that you can see how secure print and email to print work together. Finally, we'll release the document from the Uniprint VPQ at the VPAT device. Let's get started by installing email to print on the bridge. We already have Uniprint Infinity installed in a print server setup, which enables us to print to network printers. To modify the installation, open the control panel. Click Programs and Features. Click to select Uniprint Infinity. And then click Change. The installation wizard will launch. Click Next to continue. Ensure that Modify is selected and then click Next. Enable Email to Print. Click Next. Click Install. Click Finish. Let's close the control panel. To set email settings, open the Uniprint Management Console. Under Properties and Settings, click Printers. Click Email to Print. Since this is a test environment, we're going to enter Gmail settings. However, for your production environment, or if you have access to a test mail server, enter in your Exchange server settings. For Gmail, we'll select POP3. You can also select IMAP as well, but the mail server name and port will be different. You can search Google for that information. For the connection encryption, select SSL. For the mail server, enter pop.gmail.com and port number for POP is 995. Leave the fetch frequency at 15 seconds. For the outgoing connection encryption, select SSL. For the mail server, enter smtp.gmail.com and the port number is 465. Ensure that require authentication is selected and then click Save. At this point in the setup process, go ahead and create email accounts for individual network printers. We've already created Gmail accounts for the Kyocera KM3050 and the Uniprint VPQ. Click to select Kyocera KM3050. And then click Properties. Click the Email to Print tab. Select Enable Email to Print on this printer. Enter the email address for this printer. Since you would sign into Gmail using your email address, select Same as Email Address. Otherwise, enter in a username such as a domain username. And then enter in the password for this account. Enter the password again to confirm. To ensure that you've entered the information correctly, click Verify Email Account. Uniprint Infinity will attempt to sign into the printer's email account. Click OK to clear this message. Click Save. Let's do the same for the Uniprint VPQ. Right-click the Gateway Global Uniprint VPQ, not the local one, and then select Properties. Click the Email to Print tab. Select Enable Email to Print on this printer. Enter the email address for the Uniprint VPQ. Since this is a Gmail account, select Same as Email Address. Enter in the password. Enter the password again to confirm. Click Verify Email Account. Click OK to clear the message. Click Save. These two printers are now email to print enabled and it will be indicated under Type. Let's go to an Android device and send a couple of email messages to these printers. On our smartphone, we're logged into another test Gmail account. Let's compose a message to the Kyocera printer. Tap the pencil to compose. Enter in the Kyocera's email address. Since we've emailed to the Kyocera before, it comes right up and populates the To field. Enter in a subject. This isn't necessary, but it's a good habit to get into. 
Email to Print prints out whatever file is attached to this email message. For a full list of supported file types, refer to the Uniprint Infinity Mobile Setup Guide. Tap the paperclip to attach a file. Tap Attach File. Tap PDF-Sample.PDF. Remember that Kyocera is going to print out the attachment, not the contents of the email message. Tap the paper airplane to send this message to the printer. The printer will reply to you once the attachment has actually printed. This could take a few minutes and could be delayed if there's a paper jam or if someone is printing out a large document. Tap the reply to see what it says. Tap the back arrow. Email to print easily integrates with Secure Print. With Secure Print, a mobile worker can email a printer on the way into the office and then release their document once they arrive. Let's compose another message to see how this works. This time we're going to send a message to the Uniprint VPQ. Again, we'll enter a subject which is completely optional. And we'll attach the sample PDF file. Tap the paperclip. Tap Attach File. Tap PDF-Sample.PDF. Tap the paper airplane to send this message. It should only take a couple of minutes to get a reply from the VPQ. Tap the reply message to read it. The Uniprint VPQ automatically generates a random four-digit PIN number. This PIN number is required to release the document through the VPAD. Let's go to the Secure Print emulator which we installed on the Windows 8.1 client. Since the print job was sent by email, it will not be associated with your domain username, but instead by your email address. Tap to enter the originating email address. Notice that the domain is email to print. Tap your email address. Select pdf-sample.pdf and then tap print. Enter the four-digit PIN from the reply email from the Uniprint VPQ, which was 2219. and then tap OK. Tap to select a printer. To change printer preferences, such as the number of copies, tap Settings. We're good when it comes to printer preferences, so tap Cancel. You can also apply a printer profile. Tap Profile. With printer profiles, users can access advanced printer properties such as stapling and hole punching. We don't need to apply a profile, so tap Cancel. Tap Print and this document will be sent to the Lexmark T520. The document will be removed from the Current Jobs tab to the Printed Jobs tab so that it can be printed again if necessary. Tap the Printed Jobs tab. To print this document again, simply tap to select it. And then tap Print. To print it again, you will be required to enter the four-digit PIN again, so it might be wise to keep the reply message associated with this document. Thank you for watching this short video on email to print. For more information on Uniprint Infinity, visit our website at www.uniprint.net. Or if you're testing Uniprint Infinity and require help, contact our friendly support staff at support at uniprint.net.